and welcome to this episode of Context is King. I'm Rebecca Brayton, and with me as always is WatchMojo founder and CEO Ashkan Karbasushan to discuss... Still here. ...mistakes and regrets. Mistakes? I've made a few. Oh, boy. Already today. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what are we talking about here? We're talking about... I mean, we've touched on mistakes, regrets, and other segments, but we've never kind of dove in. Um, and I was talking to a, a friend, industry friend, about time and timing. What are your thoughts on mistakes? Are you the kind of, or regrets? Are you like, do you have no regrets? Are you like? It's difficult because I, you know, I see things that I would do differently, but if I did them differently, then where would I be today? And I'm not unhappy with where I am today. Wow, so. that's great. I agree. I, one of my favorite expressions that I heard from this uh, more experienced senior wise guy, well, what, not wise guy, wise man was, <laughs> Um, glad I did it once, wouldn't do it again, mm. right? So I, there's a lot of things that I put in there. Okay, I think it's utter BS when people not just say like, oh, if I had to do things you know, differently, I wouldn't do it. If I had to go through it, the same thing. I think that is a bit of BS, but I think what is actually harmful, like I think it's fine if you want to say that because it helps your state of mind, but I think what's an actual disservice is that like it's it's not normal to look back and give in to that temptation of like, ooh, going down that slippery slope. Sorry, I just I'm thinking like if you look back and you say I would do something differently, you're basically saying I don't like the person I am today. That's really deep. And I that's actually, you know, oftentimes what I was gonna get to, but you Sorry. are you know, but it's good. Uh, you're like, cut to the chase, Ash. No, I think. I think it's perfectly normal for people to look back and, and even regret or say, I do things differently, or I'm glad I learned from it, but I recognize that I made a mistake, or I recognize that I shouldn't have said this or worded it differently. But that's it, that it's like, if, if we're coming to the end of the decade, not just the end of the year, right? The 2010s are done soon. So I go... And I'm I, still in the year 2000, so... Yeah, well, that's it. But if I, if I go back to the year 2000, which is around the time I graduated college, and you showed me where I would be in 2010, and you say, would you take that or not? In 2010? Yeah, first. Okay. And then in 2010, you said, this is where you're going to be in 2020. Would you take it? I love where I am now. You know, I'm not saying that, like, there are not moments in the day when I want to throw a chair against the wall. Everybody does, right? Isn't that normal? <laughs> But but I but I'm I have one of those weeks. <laughs> but, but but what I don't like is this notion that it's not normal to look back and be like a normal human being. But I think you got to kind of then just have a little bit of perspective, um, and not kind of be in this myopic world where you know like you don't have hu you don't have feelings. You're not sentient. You know, so to speak. So, how does this apply to business then? Well, the way it applies to business is because business is, Henry Luce was basically the, the founder of Time, said something to the effect of, I'll make sure we flash the right, correct quote, but to paraphrase, it was basically like, you're basically making you know, decisions about an uncertain future. You know, again, that's not the exact quote. And so I think when you are making decisions, you are actually balancing two things that seem very similar, but that are actually fundamentally different, which is the concept of time and timing, okay? So, in, I studied finance, one of the first rules you learn about the stock market is you can't time the market, meaning you're, you're timing st stock picking, timing the market to buy low, sell high is nearly impossible, right? So, is this like that, Thing you tweeted, it was a quote, and it was people with depression live in the past. People oh, that's with interesting. It's all related. No, yeah. but that was, yeah, that was something. People with anxiety live in the future, and yeah. people who are, what was it? Who well, are people content who are at live peace in the now. live in the now. Sounds okay. great. And one person was like, well, I'm, you know, time traveling because I'm all three. And I was like, that's, that's really clever. But so, so when you're making a decision in business, whether it's for the self, like where should I work? Should I quit? Should I start a company? Should I sell my company? Should I bring on investors? Should I marry this gal? Should I marry, divorce this guy? Whatever, you know, all these decisions. I think it's literally the intersection of time and then timing it, right? What I mean by that is time is a very personal thing. Are you at a point in your life where this makes sense? You know, so whereas timing generally has to do with externalities. You know, like if you own a house, you might really, really like to live in that house but maybe it's time to sell that house because everybody is paying an arm and a leg for a house like yours. 
But what if you don't want to move into an apartment that is smaller because you like the space in the garden? But say a few years later, you're, let's say, an older gentleman and you can't live in a house anymore because it's just way too much work. For you, the time is ready to sell your house, but the, 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 the housing market may have tanked, right? So I think how it applies to business is if you really want to not have regrets or mistakes, if you don't want to make mistakes, you can't make these decisions out of a vacuum, right? We get this often where people come to me and they're like, oh my God, I want to start a YouTube channel. How would I do it? And I go, okay, well, what, like... Time travel back to 2006. Well, 2006, <laughs> even 2012, but it's also more like, well, what do you like, right? If somebody came down and said, I want to start a Let's Play channel, I'd be like, kind of saturated. Somebody was like, I got this idea for unboxing. Now I'd be like, please cut Plant that tube. shit out. Plant what? Plant tube. Yeah, plant tube, exactly. Start, exactly. Okay. But, but that's the idea, right? So I think... It's, it's not just about the timing, it's about a very personal decision. And if you could kind of always match that backdrop, macro, timing aspect with where you are in your life, meaning what skills you have, what your interests are, what you could do, that's the lightning in a bottle uh, that if you are lucky to nail on and then you just execute even remotely okay, you do really, really well in life. And, uh, and I think that's really like the, the secret to success if I had to narrow it down to somebody. Because one without the other could totally end up in failure. But if you can get that match, touchdown. I don't disagree with that. <laughs> Would do you? If you do, let us know in the comments. Or also, if you agree, we'd love to hear that too. Uh, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.